Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm LG if you're new here. So today's video, of course, you guys have probably already read by the title. It's gonna be an eyeshadow tutorial for hooded eyes. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a few tips that have helped me when I'm applying eyeshadow with my hooded eyes. And some of these tips are also gonna be helpful for people without hooded eyes, but mainly I'm focusing on hooded eyes because if you know, you know, okay? And that's all I'm gonna say about that, okay? So if you're interested in seeing this video, let's get started. KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's popping. Welcome to a YouTube. So before we get started with the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you on my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'll be hosting a huge giveaway on there very soon. So if you're interested, definitely follow me on Instagram to stay updated. And also all the links that I'll be using in this video, like the brushes and the makeup products will be linked in the description box down below for those of you guys who want to check it out. So first things first, I'm gonna start off by explaining what hooded eyes are because I feel like some people think they have hooded eyes But really they don't so hooded eyes are eyes that have the eyelid area that sink inside So when you apply makeup and when you look straight, you can't really see the eyeshadow on the eyelids People without hooded eyes They have a clear clear eyelid area where you can see it whether they look up whether they look down You can clearly see it also hooded eyes have this hood right here. That's where they get the name hooded eyes some people have hooded eyes some people have hooded eyelids as in their eyelids are hooded but then they have enough space at the top I have hooded eyes because my eyelids sink in there is a lot of creasing around this area so when I apply eyeshadow and I look straight you can't really see the eyeshadow but there are different ways of applying eyeshadow to prevent that from happening so specifically today I'm gonna be giving you guys tips for hooded eyes to make sure that your eyeshadow is showing and basically Basically tips that have helped me apply eyeshadow and kind of like manipulate and play around with my hooded eyes so I'm gonna go over the brushes that I'm gonna be using because that is the most important when it comes to hooded eyes you can't use the same brushes as somebody without hooded eyes so one general tip I can give about hooded eyes is you have to utilize all the space that you have around your eyes at the top the outer portion and the inner portion and I'm gonna go over that during the video I like to start off with a base. A base can be either an eyeshadow primer or it can be a concealer. I like using a concealer and the specific one I like using is this NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This one is in the shade Amand. When you do use a concealer, make sure that the concealer is a matte formula and it's an oil-free formula because those are the ones that allow the eyeshadows to blend really well and they're the best types of concealer for eyeshadow base. So I just take a little bit of this concealer and place it all over my eyelids. You wanna get a concealer color that is closer to the concealer color that you put under your eyes and you just want to place a very small amount to prime and prep your eyelids I think a base is very important because it intensifies the color it gives you great color payoff when it comes to eyeshadow and it allows the eyeshadow to stick on your eyelids really well and last a long time so you can set this with the translucent setting powder but I don't like doing that because I think it takes away from the color of the eyeshadow so I just like to let it sit like this for a little minute Another great eyeshadow base that I really like is the P. Louise eyeshadow base. That is a really good one if you're going in with really colorful eyeshadows. But because I'm doing something very neutral and natural, I want to stick to the concealer. So the brushes that I would recommend for hooded eyes are these five brushes right here. So the first brush is the Morphe M506 brush. And then the Morphe M507, which is slimmer. And then the Morphe M508. And then the Morphe m456 brush which we'll be using for the eyelids and then lastly the morphe m321 brush which is for the inner corner my favorite brush for hooded eyes is this right here this is the morphe m506 brush this is a blending brush I use this all the time to place my transition color to blend out eyeshadow this is the most essential brush for me another brush that's perfect for even smaller hooded eyes than mine is this right here this is the m507 brush this brush is thinner 
and more precise and it's a great blending brush if you have smaller eyelids. So the first color that I like to apply is a transition color. So transition color is used to create a transition between two different colors. So it gives like that gradient look with no harsh lines. So that's the first eyeshadow you want to go in with. So for instance, if you're going in with a lighter shade and then you're gonna use a darker shade, that transition color is going to be the one that's going to be in the middle that transitions that lighter shade into the darker shades. So you don't really see that clear difference between the two colors. And and that prevents the harsh lines from showing on your eyeshadow. So typically a transition color should be one that is very close to your skin tone and your skin color. One that you really be able to see it but it's very close to your skin tone so like a nude color. I like going in with warm transition colors because they look better on my skin. You can also use a cool toned one or a neutral one. Just depends on the type of transition color that you like. But make sure that it's very much close to your skin tone and it's like a nude color. So. In today's video, I'm using the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette because it has so many earthy tones that are natural and really easy to use for all skin tones. So this is what I'm going to be using. And for the shimmer eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Master Metals Eyeshadow Palette. And I also really like this because the color payoff is really nice. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here because this one is closer to my skin tone. And using the Morphe M506 brush, I like to to place that right about there and this is going to create that nice transition for the other colors that I place on my eyelids and above my eyelids so you want to make sure to focus this color right where the transition will take place which is right here so I'm placing the shade above my crease where the brow bone will transition to the darker color I'll place next all right so next I'm gonna apply the crease color so the crease color is typically one that is placed on the crease that's why it's called crease color it's usually darker than your skin and it's usually like a black or a brown depending on the type of eyeshadow you're going for and the brush that I like to use for that one is the M507 brush which is the one that I talked about earlier or you can use the M506 brush but because my eyelids are really small and I want to be precise I'm gonna use the M507 instead of placing the crease color on the crease only for it to disappear you want to place it on the outer part of your eyes which is this area right here because when I look up this part of my eyes still shows so that's where you want to place it so this is how you finesse an eyeshadow look with hooded eyes okay you don't want to show up up here just place it on the side so using this m507 brush I'm gonna pick up this brown shade right here and I'm placing the shade right on the outer portion of my eye typically people without hooded eyelids would place it like right there I like to place mine on the outer portion so you kind of see it and this is called the outer V of your eye so the outer V of your eye is the outer corner of the eye that extends from the lash line to the crease so you just want to place it right there and whatever is left you just want to slowly bring it on the inside but you're mainly focusing that eyeshadow on the outer portion and with this eyeshadow you don't want to blend it this way you want to blend it upwards closer towards your eyebrows so it's nice and blended and you guys see how using smaller brushes helps a lot with the blending makes it really nice and clean and one way to blend out eyeshadow is to go back in with the first shade that you placed so I'm gonna go back in with this brown shade right here and using that same M506 brush I'm gonna use this brush to blend out all these harsh areas so it looks nice and blended and you don't really see any harsh lines and I'm going in with this black shade right here just to intensify that a little bit with the same M507 brush and I'm placing this right on top of that brown shade and then going back in with that M506 I'm just gonna blend all that out so this is what the eyeshadow looks like as you can see when I look up you can still see that black shadow instead of me placing it on the inside and when I look up you can't really see that crease so this is how I like to manipulate this type of look next we're gonna get into the eyelid color so an eyelid color is one that you place of course on your eyelids it can be a shimmery color it can be a matte or you can use a metallic shade so it's typically one that is lighter than your other eyeshadow colors sometimes it depends on the look you can use a darker one if you're going for a smoky eye and for hooded eyes make sure you're using a smaller version of each brush that I mentioned sometimes they have these flat brushes and they're super big make sure that you're going in with the smaller ones so 
for the eyelids, I like to use a fluffy brush because I feel like it picks up powder a little bit better than a flat brush. But for a cut crease, the reason why I like using a flat brush because you have to be very accurate when you're cutting your crease. So a flat brush is essential for that. So the shade that I'm gonna use today is this shade right here. And picking it up with this fluffy brush, I like to dust off the excess. So picking up that shade, I'm gonna place this right on my eyelids. And with this brush, what I like to do is I like to move the eyeshadow up and down in a windshield wiper motion. This allows the pigment of the eyeshadow to stick a little bit better. So you wanna use the flat part of the brush. When blending it out, you want to blend it up as much as possible around the inner corner area so it shows more and also bringing it up towards your crease. And also you want to pick up a very small amount, dust it off and build it up because less is definitely more. And what I'm doing is I'm blending this up above my crease so when I look up you can kind of still see that eyeshadow. After applying that I like to go in with that eyeshadow that I used on the outer V and blend these two together so that they look nicely transitioned and you don't see any harsh lines. Alright so next is the inner corner color. An inner corner color is one that you place on your tear duct right here. It's usually the lightest color that you apply on your eyeshadow close to the brow bone shade. So the brush that I like to use for that is the Morphe M321 brush. So this is a rounded eye brush and I like rounded eye brushes because your tear duct is rounded so you want to use a rounded brush for that. So I'm going to use this shade right here for the tear duct and you want to use a very small rounded brush because your tear duct is also small as well. So when applying the inner corner shade you want to make sure to focus only on your tear duct area then use whatever is left on the brush to bring the eyeshadow closer to the eye color to blend both of them out for a nice gradient finish. I love applying this shade because it adds a little bit of a spark onto eyeshadow looks and especially with hooded eyes because we're so limited to the areas where we can apply eyeshadow. I think adding that inner corner shade also makes your eyeshadow pop a little bit more. You can also bring this right around this area right here just so that it shows up a little bit more. All right, so next is the under eye colors. Typically, the under eye color is the one that you use for transition and your crease mixed together just so that it has the same look from top to bottom. I'm gonna go back and use those two shades. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here and then go in with this brown and black shade. And for the under eye, I like to use the Morphe M508 brush. I like to first go in with the brown shade. And this is the shade that I use for the transition color. And you wanna focus this right underneath your under eye. So this brush is called a shading brush because it's used to shade the eyeshadow. So depending also on the eyeshadow that you're going for, if you're going for a simple shimmery eyeshadow look that I do all the time, that is how I like to apply it. Next, I'm gonna go in with the brown and black shade. I'm gonna mix those two together because I use those two shades for the crease. And I'm gonna focus that right on my lash line, like right inside my lash line. So the reason why you wanna use a flat shading brush is because you wanna make sure that it's sharp enough to give you a nice, precise finish. All right, so that is it for the eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna quickly pop some lashes on and I'm using the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. I think these lashes are super pretty with this type of look and I think these lashes are also really good for hooded eyes. So I'm gonna pop these on, finish off the rest of my face and then I'll be back to show you guys the final look. All right, so this is the final look. I hope you guys picked up a few eyeshadow tips for hooded eyes, especially if you're struggling with hooded eyes. So to sum it up, the biggest things that I've picked up on is make sure when you have hooded eyes to utilize all the space that you can to apply eyeshadow so your eyeshadow will pop and it will show more because at the end of the day the most important thing about eyeshadow is for it to show you know and for it to be nice and blended so i think just focusing on the outer portion of your eye is very important and also the inner portion you want to utilize all the space that you can you want to bring the eyeshadow above on the sides you want to blend it out really nice because if you only focus on your crease and your eyelids, 
it won't show so I like to do this kind of look I like to kind of like wing it out a little bit because I think it looks really nice and flattering on hooded eyes and you can create so many different makeup looks with that so I hope this video was helpful if you found this video helpful please don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you on my channel don't forget to follow me on Instagram for the huge giveaway that I'll be doing very soon but other than that I will see you guys in my next video KLJ welcome to a channel where it's popping you better subscribe got it on lock yeah got it on lock yeah mm, we need more likes more views yeah you can leave a comment too mm, welcome to a YouTube mm, welcome to a YouTube